Hey guys, what's going on? I recently asked you for some suggestions on iPhone apps and games, so I wanted to make a video showing you some of the favorite games that I've been playing, and also some of the suggestions that I took from you guys and that I uh, really like. So let's get started and show you some of the games. One of my favorite games that I've been playing, it's called Two Dots. So what you do, it's pretty simple. You basically just connect dots, but you can start, right, I'll start with the boost, because I probably need it. It'll give you random things like this, and it'll take out some of the dots. So it took out half of them. So for this one, I have to crack these icicles or whatever they're stuck in. So you basically just connect the dots and try to break them out of the thing. You can also do like different combos. So say I had a, hopefully, maybe I'll get a square. It would get rid of all of the colors. Oh here, square. So it got rid of all the blue ones. So it's pretty fun and quite addicting once you actually get the hang of it. I started playing and I was like, this is kind of boring, but then like, I love it. Literally played for probably 12 hours yesterday. Okay, so I didn't win this round because not my best. But that's Two Dots, it has a bunch of different levels and different objectives and things like that, but it's it's pretty fun. So I recently started playing Minion Rush. Um, someone recommended this to me on Twitter. I just kind of started playing this one, but it's really, really fun. Okay, so you have to like catch the bananas and you jump and you move all around the different stuff and you try to avoid all the other stuff that's in your way and you just run and I'm not really sure what you do yet, but you avoid all the stuff and you catch the fruit, basically. I uh, wasn't doing so well earlier of trying to play this. Oops, no, 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 I'm not actually sure what my objective is, so I'm just gonna, oops. I'm just gonna catch the fruit and see what happens. Oh boy, it's getting faster. And I'm scared to look what my, my objective is, because then I'll die. But it's really cute. I lo oh shoot! Oh wait, no, I was supposed to do that. No, 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 okay, so I just died. <laughs> but basically, that's kind of just uh, what you do. You run around catch the bananas. It also has different objectives and different things that you do each round. I don't know, the Jelly Lab, it's cute. This next game, I haven't played that much yet, but it's called Loop. It kind of drives me a little bit crazy. It's one of these puzzle type games where you move each of these obstacles to connect. And let me just tell you something. This is enough to drive any sane person, probably. Okay, that wasn't that hard. That one was not difficult. Oh, this one's gonna suck. Oh, we might have something. Oh, shoot. Oh, there we go. So yeah, basically you just move around each piece and make them connect. All right, the next game, Orbit Run. So I'm on level 26 right now. It asks you, can you get to, uh, to level 200? And I'm like, probably not. So what you do is you shoot these red dots and you try to get to the center, but you don't want to hit the black part. So what I've been doing is just shooting a bunch of them, which clearly does not work. All right, let's do this. Come on, get out of my way. Okay, here we go, this is our chance. All right, so this you do, it's kind of crazy, also fun. I passed 26. Zigzag, oh, another game that I was, I actually think I actually screamed on the plane because I kept falling off the freaking side. All right, so what you do is you basically tap and it just, oh shh, that was really embarrassing. We're gonna be here all day. This is gonna be the longest video I'll ever post because we have to beat the record. <gasps> Ooh, that was really close. To be fair, I did not deserve that. Holy moly, mother. Oh, it changes colors. I never made it that far before. I beat my score. It's kind of like, remember that game where you had the ball and you would like have to like physically tilt it? I don't remember what that was called, but that was an old school game. It's kind of like that. It's fun. Also drives me a little bit crazy. All right, the next game is Cooking Fever. I, for some reason, when I open this, my like recording thing goes absolutely crazy, but it's basically just one of those games where you have customers and you have to keep up with them and serve them. And I don't know why it's fun, but it's really fun. We will go to Jelly Jump. Okay. Let's do this. So what you do is you want to get the jelly to the top, but you have to get it through here and there's different like speeds and there's different obstacles and so that one's really slow and you don't want to get the jelly stuck, but you also lose jelly. Oh, okay, see, my jelly didn't make the cut. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Okay, come on jelly. So it's really about timing. Oh shoot, now that we've got the slow-mo jelly, so now my jelly's going real slow. Oh, my jelly cut in half. So you get the point, that's Jelly Jump. Let's move on to Shades. You basically, it's kind of like a weird Tetris. You want to like line up the lines so that they'll match colors and disappear, but you make different shades so that the colors will match. So we wanna put that one there and then it disappears. It gets really hard because it goes really fast and you have to make like a million different colors 
for it to go like this. Like, so we'll have to make this green one. Oh, mistakes were made again. Okay, okay, things are happening. So what I need is I need like the light color now so I can put it on top of it. Oh, I'm getting real, real fussy. I'm getting upset because it's not giving me what I want. So then we have this one, so this should take it down. Woohoo! Um, so someone recommended this for me, four picks, one word. It was kind of really, I don't want to say easy, but I mean like, look, okay, like, row. I don't know. Not for me. This game is pretty fun. It's kind of another puzzle type of game. We'll do the regular pack. Look, see, I'm on level 19. Basically what you do is you have to connect these dots, but you can't get in the way of anything else. So we'll do that, we'll do that, and we'll do that. That was way too easy. Although some of these, they are pretty tricky. Uh, but these are not the one. Almost there. Oh, you have to fill the board. Oh, whoops. Well, I'm sorry, I have to fill the board. I'm just really talented and good at what I do. That's not the right color, you idiot. The next one, I don't know, is, is this 1010 or is it 1010 exclamation? I'm gonna call it 1010. I was playing this game for a long time yesterday. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite games other than the two dots. What you have to do is you kind of want to make lines. So you want to fill up the lines with the blocks, but what you, if you run out of blocks, so say I run out, so that line will disappear. I'm assuming you probably get more points if the colors match, but like, I don't have time for that. And then as soon as these blocks stop fitting places, you lose. Okay, we need more interesting things happening. As soon as these blocks stop fitting places, um, that's when you lose. So just don't suck and make sure they keep fitting. I think those are all the games I wanted to show you. Agario, I had a lot of people recommend this for me. I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe I'm just dumb. Um, I also, I have Dude Perfect, but I also haven't played that yet, but I had that recommended to me and it looks fun. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching my iPhone games. Uh, leave in the comments if you have any suggestions on games that I should get, because I travel a lot and I get bored and before I'm going to sleep at night, I like to play some iPhone games. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for a new video tomorrow, actually. I'll see you guys later. Thank you, bye.